Hello everyone, it is time for the FanDuel Punch-Out. I'm Big Italy 42 with you here, and I'm breaking down tonight's slate, starting at 7-10. Got your strange little day slate there, starting at 145, two games. Uh, kind of talked about it a little bit on the other podcasts. I mean, that's a, that's a GPP-only kind of thing. If you're playing cash games and that, you are braver than I am. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get things kicked off for tonight. Got some big names on the mound, but... Most of them have been underachieving so far this year, so I'm going to try to give you a breakdown, who I'm looking at, who I'm not looking at, and things like that. So, Chris Sale against the Minnesota Twins. We know the Minnesota Twins are a terrible offense. Currently 25th in the league against lefties, 282 Team Woba, .083 Team ISO. They're not striking out a ton at 19.1%, but Chris Sale, as we know, one of the better strikeout pitchers in the game. Hasn't really shown it so much this year, 21.6% strikeout. Right, a lot of that due to uh, two strikeouts against the Royals, which, as we know, they strike out less than any team in the league. So kind of give him a little bit of a pass on that one. But Chris Sale at $10,000 here, much more affordable than he is on DraftKings. So I think you can easily get Chris Sale into your cash game lineups. Don't mind him at all, obviously. Best pitcher on the board, not even close, I don't. I think, and against the worst offense on the board. A lot of things going in his favor. Um, Jacob DeGrom going against the hottest Hottest offense on the planet. Excuse me. 26 runs scored in the last two nights. He's sitting at 9,400. He's really struggling against lefties. Not a ton of lefties in this lineup, but you got guys like Bryce Harper you're worried about. If Jose Lobaton is in the lineup, he's a switch hitter. He'll hit it from the left side. I like to think he gets things turned around, but what's concerning to me the most is his fly ball rate at 41.9%. He's given up three homers to lefties, one to a righty so far, so... I think he'll get things turned around, but uh, at the same time, that makes him a tournament-only option for me. Same thing with the other side of this game. This is a pick em, six and a half run total, so neither guy in a great spot for the win. Steven Strasburg has been awful on the road in his career, allowing 1.63 whips so far this year, and really outside of a dominant performance at home against Philly, he's been pretty bad. Uh, his other three starts, he gave up nine hits against the Mets, ten hits against Boston, eight hits against Miami, six, five, and five strikeouts there. No wins in any of those games. So, I mean, the guy's been inconsistent, but we know when he's on, he's got incredible stuff. So, maybe he's he probably makes for a better tournament play, in my mind, than Jacob DeGrom. I like that offense behind him. So, I'll bump him up to two behind DeGrom. Neither guy I love in cash games on FanDuel. Um, I'm still sticking with Sale. If you do want someone else for your cash games, you want a cheaper guy. Um, Shelby Miller and Alfredo Simon are the ones that come to mind here. Alfredo Simon... Not a big strikeout guy, which is perfect against Kansas City because they don't strike out much. The guy's been really good, only 3.9% walk rate. Uh, ground ball rate of 51.9. Righties are 1 for 23 off him. Obviously, he's not going to maintain those numbers. But he's off to a great season, a great start to the season. He's been pitching well. So at 8,100, if you really need the discount, I guess I don't mind that. Shelby Miller, a slight favorite against the Reds at Turner Field tonight. He's keeping the ball on the ground at 57.1%. So... Either one of those guys, I guess, if you want to swerve. But really, everyone outside of sales is going to be a tournament option for me tonight. So, I mean, if you if you had to gun to my head, i got to have one of those guys. I'll go Shelby Miller in my cash games because uh, Red's on the road. Just not a very good offense right now, so I'm not too concerned there. Um, elsewhere, you've got Scott Feldman, an interesting play. The guy's been pitching, the ball, pitching pretty well. 53.1% ground ball rate, just a 3% walk rate. We know he's never been a big strikeout guy, so, you know, you're not – Leaning too much there. Struggled against righties, though. 408 Wolf allowed four home runs there. So, I mean, that's where that's where you're concerned. Had a nice uh, double digits in three of his four starts this season. So, you take away getting crushed by Oakland. And he's been a, a decent pitcher, but $7,000 is pricey. Um, I'd rather swerve towards James Paxton, who you know has great strikeout upside against this Houston team, striking out 24% of the time against lefties. They do have a nice team ISO of over 160 against lefties so that's the big concern there but you know he's got nice upside if he's not being wild um and you know not giving up free passes which houston doesn't get a whole lot of free passes i like him but that yeah, houston offense starting to turn things around george springer altuve against the lefty a lot of guys in good spots even chris carter starting to hit so he's a risky option as well uh, one more guy i'm going to mention that i'll be playing in some tournaments daniel norris he's a lefty we know cleveland a lefty dominant dominant lineup they don't hit lefties well at all and Norris hasn't been great, but he had a nice 11.66 fantasy point game against the Yankees. Did well against Tampa on the road as well. 13 points in that game without even getting a win. So, I mean, this one in Cleveland, obviously it's 
not a great hitter's park, not a great pitcher's park, kind of a neutral park there. Uh, but Norris is a guy that I'll be targeting. I'm concerned about his fly ball rate at 53.4%, but 5.8K for this guy. Don't mind him at all in some tournaments. All right, elsewhere, we're moving on to catcher here. Russell Martin at $3,200 in a great spot against TJ House, who's allowing a 475 Woba to righties. He's given up 13 earned runs in seven and two thirds innings. Guy's getting mashed. AJ Prezinski up against Mike Leake. Mike Leake, 360 Woba to lefties. Prezinski's on fire. Love Prezinski once again at 2.9K. Evan Gaddis, a nice tournament option on that Houston side, 2.7. He should be back in the lineup tonight. And if you're looking here really, really cheap, if Alex Avila is not in the lineup in a lefty lefty matchup, you can see James McCann maybe. Certainly not going to hit him inside the park home run again today, probably ever again in his life. But at 2.2 absolute minimum, I think you do much worse than that. You've got a couple other guys at minimum salary, but nobody that I'm really going out of my way to look at. All right, first base, chock full of great options as usual. Miguel Cabrera, $4,900. Hit two homers yesterday. The guy can do it all. Uh, Denny Duffy, as we know, great against lefties. Not so great against righties. 362 Woba allowed, two homers so far. Miguel Cabrera, your top option most times. You can get him at first base. Uh, Jose Abreu going against Trevor May, who has actually been decent. 21% strikeout rate, just a 3.3% walk rate. Um, he's been surprising. He's one of those guys you think you're going out of your way to target, stack against, but I personally don't think that he's been that bad. I'm not saying that I'm going to be playing him in my pitcher spot, especially on a one-pitcher site, but I do think that I'm hesitant on stacking a team like the White Sox, who aren't hitting the ball particularly well right now either. I mean, you look at their their team numbers against righties, and they're really not that good. I mean, they're 20th in the league, 298 Wolba. 115 team ISO, striking out 22.3% of the time. So if you're stacking the White Sox today, I mean, more power to it if you want to go that route. But Abreu is really the only target I really like um, outside of maybe Melky Cabrera, who's really cheap. I'll get to him. But I don't think that Trevor May is in that bad of a spot tonight. So I'm not stacking a ton against him. Edwin Encarnacion at $4,000 against TJ House. Toronto righties. I already said it once. I'm going to say it again. Get some Toronto righties in your lineup against TJ House. He's just god-awful right now. Um, Joey Votto always in play at 4K, seven homers on the season. We know the drill with him. Um, Freddie Freeman is a guy that I like at 3,400. Another lefty against Mike Leake. He's in a good spot. Carlos Santana, really the only Cleveland bat I like at $3,400. If you want someone cheap, Kendris Morales at 2,500 against Alfredo Simon. The guy's been hitting the ball very well. He's really, really cheap. So if you need to punt, you're going to probably want Chris Sale in your cash game lineup tonight. You're going to need some cheap options, and he's certainly one of those. Second base, Jose Altuve against a lefty. Yes, please. James Paxson, a fine lefty, not a great lefty, but Altuve has just been absolutely on fire. He has multi-hit games in seven games in a row and eight of his last ten. Two, four, two, 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 two. I mean, the guy is the model of consistency. He's even showing some power. He's got two homers and 15 RBIs as a leadoff hitter, and he's now facing a lefty. Always the situation you want to target Altuve in. The guy is a tremendous cash game play tonight, and I don't mind him in tournaments either. Uh, Ian Kinsler, $3,700 against Danny Duffy. You mentioned his struggles against righties. Devin Travis, we know one of the uh, one of the darlings of the DFS world right now. He's $3,600. Should be batting second once again. Got to like him. Contrarian play, Brian Dozier at 2.9 against Chris Sale. If you're not playing Chris Sale, I don't mind him at all. He's been hit. He has hit lefties very well throughout his career, so that's a target I don't mind at all. Um, cheap second base options, really not much that I like. I'm going to be sick with most of those guys there. Um, Josh Donaldson. I don't know if you've heard, this guy's pretty damn good against left-handers. And I love him tonight at 4.2K. Not that hard to fit him in. Um, I'm a big fan there. Mike Moustakis at $3,000, batting second, batting over 350 on the season against Alfredo Simon tonight. I like him a great deal if I'm going a little bit cheaper. And Danny Valencia, $2,400. Love him against a lefty, and uh, I mean, a really, really cheap price at a really weak position, so I'm definitely going to go that route. Moving on to shortstop, I like Mike Avilas a lot. Uh, I know I said I only like one bat from Cleveland. I lied. He's uh, 2.4K, usually bats second against left-handers. Uh, I probably, if he's batting second, he's probably the only shortstop I'm going to play tonight. Uh, Jose Iglesias is probably going to be down around the nine hole again. Nobody else really at shortstop that I have any desire to play tonight. Maybe if you saw Jose Ramirez up in the lineup, but I really doubt it against the lefty. So 
All right, outfield here, Jose Bautista, 5K, mashes lefties. Now he gets the worst one on the board, one of the worst in the game. Of course, he's in play. Nelson Cruz, you love to target against lefties. You can certainly look at him tonight again against Scott Feldman. I feel like if I'm paying up, though, it's going to be for Bautista. Bryce Harper, 4,200. Mentioned DeGrom struggles against lefties. I like him. George Springer, you know my man crush with George Springer. Big fan of his, one of my favorite players in the game. So I'll be getting myself some exposure. Roger Davis should be. Brad Ausmus, take notes, should be leading off against the lefty every single time. And uh, $3,200, he's in a great spot for your cash games. Uh, Yoannis Cespedes and J.D. Martinez, $3,200 and 3400 respectively. Great tournament plays against Danny Duffy. Alex Gordon, a, a guy that flies under the radar, 3200 I like him a lot. He's swinging a real hot bat right now. And as you're looking cheaper, Curtis Granderson, if you're not playing Strasburg at 2.8, is in a fine spot. Michael Kadire, homered. Now he's got a cheaper price tag at 2.6. Uh, Melky Carrera, I already kind of mentioned, he's at 2.6. And uh, Ryan Rayburn against the lefty, $2,400. I love him tonight. He should be batting fifth or sixth. And uh, I think he's in a good spot as well. So get yourself some shares. All right, that's going to wrap things up here. Find us on Twitter at DF Cafe. I'm Big Italy 42. Tons of great content for tonight's slate and every other slate at DailyFantasyCafe.com. And I will see you guys tomorrow.